So we just finished up with thresholds, Weber's law. Um, you guys did really well on that. So now let's jump into signal detection theory. So signal detection theory is basically a theory that states how external factors can influence thresholds. So for example, if we have, uh, I like to think about if you're, if you're playing hide and go seek and um, you know, certain sensory receptors are going to be enhanced and they're going to be based on non-sensory factors such as um, all right, experience, uh, write that correctly here, experience, expectation, uh, motivation, or alertness. So basically, so if you're playing hide and go seek, um, signal detection theory is, is saying how your, your, your senses are going to be either hindered or helped based on your, based on your environment. Okay. So if you've been it, right, you're trying to find the kid for, you know, two hours now. And, but you haven't looked underneath the bed, for example. But you have played hide and go seek before, and so you have the experience of finding someone underneath the bed. And you have the expectation because of that, you know, because of that previous experience, that you're going to find someone underneath the bed. Your, 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 your sensory processing for sound, for example, would be enhanced. You'll be more apt more able to pick up any slight breathing or ruffling of clothes or whatever and be able to you know, find the kid and tag him. Also motivation, like I said, if you've been it for a long time, you want to find someone, and if you're really alert, very determined to, to, to find this person who's hiding or any person, uh, you're, you're going to have those sensory uh, stimuli are going to be enhanced. So again, just a theory that states how non-sensory factors can influence thresholds. And this can also be done, uh, or it is done, in different trials. So this is a signal detection theory trial where the four different options for a, so if the response of us is yes or no, and if the stimulus is uh, present or absent, there's four different options. So again, if, if they're doing a trial for sight or hearing or whatever, um, and the stimulus is present, and you say, yes, you know, this, this, I did see something, I did hear something, that's called a hit. Um, if it was present, but you didn't pick up on it, right, in this trial, then you, that would be a miss, because you, you, uh, respond to know that it wasn't there, but it really was. And then if the, the stimulus is absent, but you still said yes, that's what you'd call a false alarm. And then finally, if you uh, said no and the stimulus was indeed absent, then that's called a correct rejection. Okay. So this is, you know, and you can see this maybe in the context of, a, of an MCAT passage um, with a different, different kind of a trial. But just know that there are external non-sensory factors that can aid or hinder uh, picking up on different signals. And this is more, if you uh, put a name on this, this would be more of an uh, aggressive approach. This would be more of a conservative or passive approach, aggressive or more, um, uh, more liberal, right? So ag aggressive persons in these trials are going to get all the hits, uh, but they're also going to have some false alarms because they're really, you know, I guess trigger happy, so to speak. And then those that are conservative, they're going to have, they're going to, they're going to get all the correct reje rejections, but because they're so conservative, they want to be, they want to make sure that they actually heard a sound or saw something, then, um, that, you know, they're going to, they're going to have some misses too, if it's a, a subtle, subtle stimulus. So questions on this signal detection theory? Awesome.